This video is sponsored by Yubico. All right, so this is the next dog touch, a product that can turn your smartphone into a touchscreen laptop. Hi everyone, Ta here. Yeah, uh, this whole thing is basically just a laptop shell with none of that traditional computer stuff on the inside. The idea here is to rely on your phone to do all the work. It almost feels like a match made in heaven for Samsung DeX, a feature that swaps out the Android launcher for a desktop-like one the moment you connect to a display. All your data and documents stay on the phone. It's a single secure device that powers everything. If security is your top priority, I highly recommend checking out the YubiKey from today's video sponsor, Yubico. So you've already got a key for your home and one for your car. What the YubiKey offers is a physical key to secure your most important online accounts. It acts as an extra layer of protection in addition to a username and password. No more copying and pasting one-time codes, just one touch or tap of the key and you're in. Security keys like the YubiKey are the only form of two-factor authentication proven to protect against phishing attacks 100% of the time. These keys are loved by millions around the world and work with everything from emails to password managers, social media accounts, and more. Their range of super durable YubiKeys means that no matter what device you're using, they've got you covered. Say hello to the YubiKey and goodbye to account takeovers by checking out the link in the description. So the whole laptop shell idea isn't new. There's been versions before this. The Touch has a few obvious improvements over the next Dock 2, which is the older model. You've got a 14.1 inch touchscreen display now with much smaller bezels. It has a larger battery and the four speakers are in a new location. They're bottom firing, but since the front lip is curved, the sound sort of flows towards you. They sound fine for laptop speakers, but just don't expect to be blown away by them. At $269, it's not a small amount of money but you can't deny that this touch version looks like an expensive laptop from every single angle. I am kind of disappointed that you can no longer open it with one hand and the hinge is a little on the squeaky side. Look, let me show you. You see what I mean? But overall, I do think they've done a good job with the build. It also functions as like a USB hub, giving you way more options in terms of things you can plug in and use. On the left, you've got an HDMI port and three USB-C ports. One's dedicated for connecting to your phone and another for charging. On the right, there's a USB-A port, headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot to keep stuff on the next dock itself. You can also plug in something like a gaming console to use as sort of like a portable display. So like I mentioned, this has a 14.1 inch touch display that gets super bright. Like at 100%, it's almost too bright and you end up losing some of the details you normally see on other displays. Whites and grays all sort of just blend together. It's still a nice looking screen though, and I actually found myself using the touchscreen more than I thought I would. It's probably because of how frustrating the trackpad is to use. It's usable and the gestures work, but it's not really that precise. The biggest issue when typing Greasing my palms on the trackpad led to the mouse cursor jumping around a lot. Thankfully, you can disable it. I'd say use the touchscreen, go with a Bluetooth mouse, or even just use your phone as a trackpad. They're all better options. The keyboard though is great. It's backlit and offers a really good typing experience. Like the last version, you still have a top row of functional shortcuts for things like a batter indicator, media controls, volume, screen brightness, and even screenshots. They've also added a shortcut to start or stop the next dock from charging your phone. I know some people were worried that constantly charging the phone would damage the battery over time, so I'm really glad they added this. In terms of battery life, it's been really good, easily lasting me a day. And I love that it powers on immediately. And if it doesn't detect a signal, it'll power off to save battery. You could also get some sort of phone mount to have a dedicated place to keep your phone. You'll probably want something like this if you're constantly on video calls or shooting a lot of talking head videos. If you've got a massive phone like I do, try not to tilt the screen too far back 
as the weight will slowly pull on the hinge and eventually the entire neck stock too. That's the last thing I want to worry about when trying to get some work done on the go. Now, I'm not exactly the target audience for a product like this, but if you need a laptop for basic laptop needs, this more than does the trick. The keyboard makes answering emails or typing up documents way easier. The bigger display makes multitasking, surfing the web, or just watching content more enjoyable. The immediate reaction to something like this would be, it's not any more portable than a Chromebook or tablet, right? You still gotta lug this thing around. Now that's completely true, but if you've got a flagship phone from the past couple of years, it's likely gonna be faster and perform better than any $300 device out there. On top of that, all your pictures and files are in one spot, so less transferring back and forth. Your phone is always connected to something like Wi-Fi or mobile data, which means the next stock is always connected too. And the best part, when you upgrade your phone, you've just upgraded your laptop too. The biggest knock on a product like this is that it 100% relies on your phone. And I know our phones are attached to us like glue nowadays, but if you happen to forget or just not have your phone, yeah, you pretty much can't use it. Dex also has its limitations, but this video isn't about how capable Dex is. So definitely do your research to see if something like this combined with Dex can work for you. At the end of the day, they've basically taken a touchscreen display, a USB hub, a keyboard, a trackpad, a power bank, and combined it all into one sleek package. I don't love the trackpad, but everything else is pretty darn good. Anyways, is the next dock touch something you'd consider? As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.